About a week ago, I participated in launch hack four, and it was actually my first hackathon experience. Since I was going solo, and the hackathon lasted for 17 hours, I chose the open-ended category, perfect for beginners who want to experiment and learn without boundaries. So what did I build? I created a password manager, and named it Vaultify. We all have been there, creating accounts on tons of websites like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, streaming platform, job portals. The list just keep growing. Eventually, we forget our password. Of course, browser offer to save them. But let's be honest: anyone who get access to your system can just open the browser settings and view them all. That's when the idea hit me. I wanted to build a secure offline first password manager that puts privacy at the center. Something. that doesn't rely on the cloud and it stores your data only on your local machine in a completely encrypted form vaultify is compact yet powerful password manager it helps you to save and organize passwords offline automatically detect platform name from urls detects password strength scan and generate qr codes and even retrieve your saved wifi credentials all while staying offline and secure everything is encrypted locally using aes encryption i used python as the core language for the user interface i combined tk enter and custom tk enter for a clean modern look i also used reenty for designing ui of the application all data is stored locally using sqlite and that encryption is handled by cryptography libraries especially using fernet which implements aes qr code generation was done using qr code module and i integrated opencv to enable qr scanning through the web chat what next for the vaultify since the hackathon had a limited time frame a few features are planned for the next phase a mobile app built using flutter that syncs with your desktop version a browser extension for autofill functionality based on it to check if any of your saved credentials are exposed a panic mode which triggers a decoy interface with fake data and optional cloud sync fully encrypted only for users who want cross device access so i started with creating a repository on my github I named it Vaultify. I did a readme and created the repository. I copied the link to clone the project on my local machine. I created a new folder. And opened VS Code in the path. Then I went to the terminal and cloned the repo. Then I created the necessary folders and files. After that I went on to design the UI of the ad using creating After completing a few phases of the ad I pushed the changes to the GitHub Here you can see the changes. And here is the final look. A welcome interface, then a home tab with total password, weak, medium and strong passwords. We can also see the recently saved passwords. Then we have another tabs like password generate where you can generate custom passwords. QR code with the scan and generate features then wifi and settings coming to the password tab 
Here, we can add password and save them. It has entry fields like username, password, phone, email, URL. To see all the passwords, just click on the button and you can see them all. You can see the platform name, strength and all the credentials with a copy to clipboard option along with update and delete buttons. We can see that the password is stored in the database in an encrypted format. Now, let's update the credentials. You can see that the username is updated in real time. Let's add another password. If we enter credentials in ROM format, it will generate an error. Now it's added successfully. And the home page also got updated. Here you can choose the minimum and maximum length of the password along with the option for style, special characters and more. Now let's come to the QR part and scan the QR code using OpenSync. Here, we got the details of the QR code. Now let's generate a QR code. Here you can see, here you can see that the QR code is generated. And here is a Wi-Fi section. Inside the settings, you can create your account. Now let's restart the app. And here we can see it is asking for authentication. And here we got the access.